What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad. And in today's MTC Spotlight, we're going to be looking at trucking company AD Transport Express out of Canton, Michigan. AD Transport is looking for a professional, income-driven, over-the-road Class A truck driver, which average pays a 75 k and they say they top earners can touch six figures. They pay in bonuses is 60 cent on all miles, $1,000 hiring bonus. OTR drivers receive $150 on first dispatch. Paid every Wednesday. Incumbent weather pay. Paid time off. Paid one day orientation. Get to work right away. Hold on. What's, what's the name of the company? 80 Transport in Cam, Michigan. I was just reaching out to you if you're looking for an over-the-road driving position at this time. Oh, uh, 80, 80 Transport out of Kent, uh, Kenton, Michigan. What, what you guys got to offer? Yep. We're looking for over-the-road drivers. Are you looking for an over-the-road position? What you got to offer? 60 cents per mile in all miles, empty or loaded, and that's on a W-2. Okay, sixty cent a mile, W two. Okay, sounds uh, exactly. interesting. Yeah. Is that based on uh, anybody coming in the door, or or is it more for person that has uh, more experience? That's just for anybody, anyone we start. Okay, so sixty cent in, so sixty cent in the door. Okay, over the road, yep. no matter, mm -hmm. no no matter. I got you know, no matter if I got seven years or more. Yeah, nope, and that's on all miles, empty or loaded, and that's on a W-2. So we also set you up with benefits as well. All we also right. have a couple other things like per diem pay, uh, month one insurance, PTO and 401k after a year, weekly pay cycle, Wednesdays to payday. All a right. A couple other things as well. I can send you a link to our benefits page too if you want to look at it. Well, let me ask you Let me ask you a quick question about the uh, per diem. Yeah. Is, that, is that mandatory? Mandatory? Yeah, like I can opt out of per diem if I want, right? Um, I can check. Most people typically like the per diem since it's non-tax. I've never really had anyone try to opt out of it, but I can definitely check on that for you. Yeah. I mean, because if you're offering 60 cent a mile, that means per diem is like what? Like 10, somewhere around a ballpark. $69. How much? How much dollars? $69, the oh. Michigan rate. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, some you know, some people such as myself would like to opt out of that. All right, so if I'm okay, if, yeah, I can yeah, so if I'm kind of like interested, what would be what would be the drug test for me? The the pre employment drug screening. Would it be hair follicles or urine or both? Urine, just urine. Oh, just urine? Oh, okay. How would you get yep. well I'm in I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. How would you get me up there for the uh for the orientation? So we would cover your travel. We work with plane, bus, or train. I would set you up with whichever one you prefer. And then we would get you over here to DTW, Detroit Metropolitan Airport. From there, we have a shuttle that can pick you up, take you to the hotel. And then in the morning, it would take you from the hotel over here to the terminal. Then when it comes to orientation, it's from 8 to 4, one day long. We do it Monday through Friday, whatever day works for you. Afterwards, you would get dispatched immediately on your first load, or you can route your home if you prefer to go that route. And then you just talk to your DM about taking your first load. Keep in mind, we also have a hiring bonus right now, so you would get $1,000. 150 of that will be on your task card immediately after orientation, and then the next week you would get the other 850 on your first check. Okay. 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 So that's a so that's a quick payout for the for the sign on bonus. Yep. Okay. Yep. What about what about the uh, what about the trucks? What, what what equipment you guys got and what is it covering? That? Yeah. It's governed at 68. We're working with uh, 2019 Cascadia Freightliners, 2020 Kenworth T680s. Both of those are automatic. And then we also have 2020 Kenworth 13 speeds. Those are manual. Any preference? Uh, it doesn't matter. I can I can drive both. <laughs> okay. I can yeah, drive both. Yeah, you have your pick. It's your truck. We won't be switching it around or anything. So that's just the one you'd be driving. So if you have a preference, let me know. Okay. Okay. What about driver cams? 
We do have inward and outward facing cameras. Just keep in mind, we have over 500 drivers. It's on an eight second loop. We're not really watching you all the time. When you're off the clock, you're, you're welcome to you know cover it with tape or a hat. It's just when you're on the clock, it's just there for insurance purposes. I can't tell you how many drivers I know who went without cameras and now they have their MBRs filled with accidents and stuff because if anything happens, well, they're typically going to blame you, especially if you're out of state and you're a truck driver. All right. All right. What about... Yeah. So what, that's what they're there for, just for insurance. What about mm -hmm. what about amenities on the truck? Like, what do you mean? Oh, like what does it come equipped with? Yeah. Uh, it depends on which one you pick. So, I mean, if you're talking about the Kenworth, it's a little different. If you're talking about the Cascadia, it's a little different. So, oh, okay. any preference there? And I can kind of tell you what they're working with. Uh, it doesn't matter. I can drive both trucks. Uh, do they come with re refrigerators, microwaves, TVs? Or yeah, anything? they have eighteen. They have eighteen hundred watt inverters with optimized idle. So, we got your power needs covered. You can definitely set up with a TV. It has a mount for a TV, and it also has space for a fridge. It doesn't come equipped with a fridge, though. So if you have one, we can install it for you for free. Otherwise, I typically tell people to just go to a Walmart and you can get like a cheap fridge for like a hundred dollars, and we can install it for free for you. Okay. Now you you mentioned about the idle. That is that is that the type where the truck cuts off and then cuts back on at a certain at a certain time or something like that. Mm, let me check. All I know is that's just what we have is the Optimus idle. One second. Yeah. So that's the type that clicks on and off. Oh, okay. Okay. Not a not a fan of those, but it's it, it's workable. Uh, what about uh? Do you guys offer any type of lease uh lease agreements? If if I'm interested in going lease with you guys, no, not at this time. We don't have any lease purchases that we're really trying to do. Oh, okay. okay. Most of the people I talk to, to be honest, lately are trying to get out of that stuff. It's not really working out for them. Oh, okay. Okay. What about uh? What about Force Dispatch? I know we're up in the Midwest and all like that. I'm not a fan of the Northeast, but is there any Force Dispatch up in that area? We, we do move up in the Northeast, so you definitely want to be comfortable up in there. Just keep in mind we don't Force Dispatch to the boroughs and islands of New York, but you know Pennsylvania, Maryland, New Jersey. You will head to some of those areas, so you got to be okay driving there. Is that something that you can work with? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, still not a fan of that little corner of the world. <laughs> um, hey, I hey, I don't blame you. I came from the East Coast, so I, I hear where you're coming from. Uh, what about, uh, it, okay, so 60 cent, you, you, what'd you say, 60 cent a mile, all miles paid. Uh, mm -hmm. what, 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 are, what are your drivers are averaging a mile? So it depends on whether you're looking for home time versus being out on the road, but typical middle of the board figure we give is 2,500 to 2,800 miles. There's some that definitely surpass that. It just depends whether you're out for miles or more home time. Okay. All right. So if I'm, so if I do the home time, would I be home every week or every weekend? And am I able to take the truck home while I'm on my home time? Yeah, you can take the truck home. You just need to have a good spot to park it at. We can work with private residences even as long as you have permission to be there. And it has some sort of security if it's not a private residence. So, I mean, we work with all sorts of things. I've had people park at local businesses, sometimes at their homes, sometimes if that if they don't have access to any of that, we work with, you know, truck stops all over. Okay, awesome. Uh, pet and wider. And then one other thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was going to say one other thing to go over would be that we do allow free rider. Um, when it comes to pets, we can work with one pet. Possibly two, although that might be a little hard, but we can work with a pet up to uh, 35 pounds. If it's higher than that, I would have to get it approved. Um, and one other thing I wanted you to know is we're working with mainly drop and hook over here. It's no touch freight, okay? Okay, okay. But what about, okay, so since she says drop and hook, what's the percentage on that? Because I'm, ass I'm assuming I have to do some live loads too, right? Not very much. Honestly, we usually tell people 75% drop and hook, 25% live load, although it's probably more like 90% drop and hook, 10% live load. But that's kind of the figure we give people. So you won't get too much live loads. Okay. And keep in mind for shorter runs, if that ever does occur, we compare it to a flat rate as well as your rate that you get for your CPM. And whichever one's higher, we pay that out. Okay. 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 Awesome. So we really do our best to make sure we take care of our drivers. All right. Okay. Um, I do got a couple of friends that uh that I pass information along to. Do you do you guys do you guys offer uh SAP drivers? Currently, we're not able to take on any SAP drivers right now. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, cool. Yeah, that's just for the time being. That that might change in the future, though. But currently, you know, 
Um, but if you're interested in moving ahead, I can send you a link to our benefits page. You can take a look. And at the top, there's a big apply now button. If you want to move ahead, that would be the first step. Did you want me to send that to you? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and test it over to me. But I'll, I'll go ahead and just forward it to, uh, you know, to a couple of my dry, uh, to a couple of my friends that are, you know, that, you know, that are looking. I mean, everything yeah. sounds good, you know, except for the except for the 60 cent. It's just not going to work for me for where I'm at right now. But uh, I do have yeah. I do have, you know, some drivers in my network that that definitely might be interested. So I'll just go ahead and. Uh, hey, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put this together and just uh, and just uh, forward it over to them. And, and you know, j if you got a phone number, you could just text me the phone. Well, just the phone number. Right. I could just give them the phone number and yeah. I'll just test it over to them. Yeah, and I'm going to send you that link in just a moment right here. So, you know, take a look, see what you like. And if not, just pass it along to whoever you think might be interested. And that'd be great for me, too. All righty. Um, just reach out if anything changes. I appreciate your time, okay? I appreciate your time, man. Thank you very much. No problem. Stay safe. Take care. All right, now. All right, guys. What's your thoughts on this? AD Transportation. I, You know, I believe I talked to them, like, in a couple of seasons ago. I'm not sure, but... What do you guys think? The uh, company is offering 60 cent a mile. You can average about 2,500 miles a week. Uh, you can bring a pet. You can bring a rider. Uh, it, mostly Northeast. I mean, if you cool with that, but they won't force you in none of the, you know, New York City or none of the boroughs or anything like that. But, of course, Pen uh, Pennsylvania, Jersey, and the rest of them up in that little corner of the world. Okay, y'all can keep that. <laughs> uh, they do have a sign-on bonus. Uh, first $150, of course, is on a card. Uh, the $800, uh, the, what is $850 on uh, your first paycheck. So you will get your sign-on bonus quick. I like that. I like a company that says, "Hey, you know, we'll 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 give you half now and and another half within a week or two weeks or so." That's that's what I'm feeling about sign on bonus. I mean, if you're going to give us a sign on bonus, give us the sign on bonus. The what it is called a sign on bonus. Okay, so drivers, what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments below. Drivers, if you drive for AD Transport. Let us know in the comments below how the company is treating you. All right. That's uh that's my thoughts on AD Transport. They reached out to your boy today and we got into conversation for you. I hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next MTC Spotlight. Big cheese got it locked, boy. Won't you let me all night? Yeah, take me down. Won't you make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Won't you to take it like a G? You know what I mean?